you wondering what I'm doing right now. Uh, I am making a custom uh, barbed tank fitting for my piece of junk snowblower that has a weird habit of breaking down almost every time I use it or there's snow. So it hates snow as much as I do, I guess. Uh, but today's uh, dilemma was it was starving for fuel. So being that the, uh, the metal fuel tank has a lot of rust in it. I'm assuming that the rust plugged up this ultra tiny uh, screen that they have on this fitting. As you see, there's not much room there to plug up. So I was taking this apart and I was taking the hose off and instead of the hose coming off, uh, what happened is the fitting just busted off, of course. So I'm going to make another fitting like this. Instead of using a screen, I'm just going to drill some holes in it since I have another filter uh, in the fuel line already. So I'm going to make some modifications to this. Now if I had had a little bit of warning, I just would have ordered another one of these. But we're supposed to get a storm in the middle of the night and get over 8 inches of snow by or like by noon. So I sort of need this. So that ruled out being able to order anything, let alone wait for it for a couple days. So, and I certainly didn't want to shovel. Anyone who owns a snowblower knows how evil shovels are. So um, I'm going to make this custom fitting and hopefully we can be up and running by morning again. Now what I'm doing here is uh, chasing threads with a single point tool. Uh, now bear in mind this is the quick and dirty way of doing it. This isn't actually the proper way. But like I said it's a piece of junk snowblower so I don't care as long as it works.
Okay, here it is. This is about as fast as I can make a fitting for a junk snow blower. Just a piece of aluminum I had laying around. Uh, I drilled almost all the way through. I didn't come out clear to the other side because I wanted to make kind of a makeshift filter. So I drilled a whole bunch of tiny holes around the periphery of this end to keep out any larger chunks of rust making it into, uh, into the carburetor. Uh, I also have a uh, inline filter downstream that will take care of anything it does make it through here. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a weird thread size. I hope it fits. This is 3 8 20 must, or whatever is closest to 3 8 metric. So hopefully that fits into the tank okay. Uh, and of course this is for a 5 16 piece of tubing and I put on uh, hex flats. This is up for a 7 16 socket. And I just happen to have a package of uh, Teflon washers that are gas proof. So I guess it pays to be a pack rat. So I'm going to put this in tomorrow morning and with any luck I'll be able to uh, clear off the sidewalk again. Okay, we got a pile of snow out here right now, so I'm hoping this fitting works.